हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज बी एस अकेडमी क्लासेस प्रेजेंट बाय सिंधी स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम द फ्यू लेक्चर्स आई एम डिस्कसिंग द डेटा इंटरप्रिटेशन पार्ट सो टू कंटिन्यू दैट पर्टिकुलर सीरीज आई एम डिस्कसिंग दैट क्वेश्चन इन द लास्ट लेक्चर आई डिस्कस द पाई चार्ट एंड इन द पाई चार्ट आई डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग अबाउट द हाउ टू कन्वर्ट द परसेंटेज इनटू डिग्री एंड द डिग्री इनटू द परसेंटेज सो नाउ इन दिस पार्ट आई एम डिस्कसिंग द क्वेश्चन व्हिच इज टोटली रिलेटेड टू पाई चार्ट सो दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन and we are uh, this is our pie chart and the our pie chart is divided among the eight sectors now the eight sector is are uh, uh, eight sectors are the a b c d e f g h h g and h respectively and their expenditure total expenditure is 60 lakh and their individual expenditure is 7% 8% 10% 18% 12% 6% 5% 4% 3% so now i am framing uh, some of the question on basis on the basis of this data okay so now i am discussing first question now the first question is saying that uh, that the what is the difference between the expenditure g and c okay now what is the difference between what is the expenditure difference between yeah by to say the find out find out the expenditure difference between find out the expenditure difference expenditure difference between g and c okay now so to cover this part first of all we have to know what is the value what is the individual expenditure in g and c if you see the individual expenditure of g is 15% and the individual expenditure of c is 10% okay so first i am writing this get particular value so g is 15% and c is 10% so if you find out the difference between these two value in percentage term then you can find out easily that the the difference is 5% so 15% minus 10% gives us 5% so 5% of what 5% of 60 lakh so you can easily find out the value of 5% of 60 lakh so now i am using the concept which i uh, already discussed you so in this lecture also i am doing that by the same method so 100% is equals to Uh, 60 lakh. Although you can find out this value uh, just by very easily, but please, friend, uh, follow my method because it will definitely help you in your exam whenever you have to find out the value of difficult, very, very difficult value. Now, 5% is very easy. Just you, if you divide the uh, 60 lakh by 20, then you can easily find out the 5% because why divide by 20? Because 1 by 20 is 5%. So now, 10% is equals to 6 lakh. now to find out the value of 5% you can easily divide by 2 so similar is the case similar is the case with the 6 lakh also so uh, if if you divide the 60 uh, 6 lakh by 2 it gives us 3 lakh so it, it, it gives us 3 lakh okay now so now this uh, this value is 3 lakh okay now again you can do this value uh, you can do uh, again Uh, so sorry uh, you can easily solve this question uh, by again some other method also if you find out the 15% now 15% 15% nothing but the 10% plus 5% now 10 plus plus 10% plus 5% is what it is uh, 6 lakh plus 3 lakh okay so 6 lakh plus 3 lakh i am find out the individual value our although our i already uh, find out the answer our answer is 3 lakh if uh, you substitute the value of 15% and 10% and then again you uh, find out the difference then you can easy, you can again find out the same value which is 3 lakh okay now 10 lakh plus 5 lakh which is gives us uh, the value of 10% is 6 lakh the value of 5% is 3 lakh which gives us 9 lakh okay now again uh, 10% is nothing but Ah, uh, 10% you can easily find out which is 6 lakh. 
so that their difference is nothing their difference is again 3 lakh so this answer and uh, this answer both are same so um, uh, you can just by doing uh, you can already you suppose suppose that you first you substitute the value of 15% 10% then find out the difference then you can easily then you can fi find out the same value which is find out the just to find out the difference between the 15% and 10% okay so this is the first question okay i am um, now i am rubbing the question so please note down note down the question our second our second question is the first time i am rubbing the question then i will discuss the second question Now, in the second question, it is saying that the find out the sum of A, E, and H. This is our second question. So, the second question is saying that find out the sum, find out the sum of A, E, and H. So, A is saying that the value of A is 7% the value of e is 12% and the value of h is 24% okay so the sum of a e h a e and h is 7% 12% plus 24% which gives us 43% okay 43% so again i am breaking the 43% into part 40% plus 3% which gives again 10% into 4 plus 1% into 3. Now the value of 10% I already find out which is 6 lakh. Okay. Now uh, 6 lakh into 4 plus 1% the value of 1% divide the 60 lakh by 100 you will find out the, the value which is equals to 60,000. 60 thousand into 3 which gives us 24 lakh plus 1 lakh 80 thousand which gives us 25 lakh 80 thousand so this is our answer this is our answer now again uh, you can do by some other method also first you, you now in this question i am first i am adding the percentage then find out then again i am substitute the my overall value now by by doing some other method for example if i am substituting the value of 7 percent then 12 percent then 24 percent and then again i will add the my values part also then de definitely that answer is also equals to 25 lakh 80 thousand okay so please try by again by do, doing some other method also de definitely you will find out the same answer okay so students um, uh, next question is uh, now I'm doing that. Um, what is the uh, what is the ratio between D to E? Find out the ratio of D to E. Okay, this is a question. So I'm running running this part. find out the ratio of d to e d to e now d is 18% and e is 12% okay you can do by two method first by the percent the ratio of percentage and again by the ratio of value I am doing by first method by D to E by the percentage method. 18% by 12% gives us 3 by 2. 3 by 2, this is our answer. And now you can do by the, uh, this is our answer. Okay, now this is our final answer. Now again, if you substitute the value of this percentage, then you will definitely find out the same answer that 10% plus 8%. Now 8% is what? 8% is nothing but the 5 plus 3%. 
फाइव परसेंट प्लस थ्री परसेंट नथिंग बट वन परसेंट इंटू थ्री बिकॉज आई ऑलरेडी फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ टेन परसेंट फाइंड आउट आई ऑलरेडी फाइंड आउट द फाइव परसेंट वैल्यू एंड वन परसेंट ऑल्सो सो टेन परसेंट नथिंग बट द सिक्स लैक सिक्स लैक फाइव परसेंट इज थ्री लैक एंड वन परसेंट इज सिक्सटी थाउजेंड विच इज इक्वल्स टू वन पॉइंट एट लैक वन पॉइंट एट लैक विच गिव्स अस टेन पॉइंट एट लैक वैल्यू Now, twelve percent. The value of twelve percent is ten percent plus one into two percent, which is equals to six lakh plus one point two lakh, which gives us seven point two lakh. Seven point two lakh. So, so its ratio is D two is is ten point eight lakh seven point two lakh. Which gives us three by two. Now this answer and this answer both are same. So if you do by this method, then you can easily find out the value within ten second. If you do by this method, then maybe you are doing some unnecessary calculation and it will definitely waste your time in your exam. So this is our uh, third question. Now I am discussing another question. Find out the difference between the sum of B and C and the sum of eighteen. Oh uh, sorry, D and E. So this is our question. So I'm rubbing this question. Uh, find out. Find out the difference. Find out the difference. Between the sum of P and C and the sum of D and E. This is our question. So first we have to find out the value of B, C. First the individual value of B, C, and D, e, D and E is Eight percent, ten percent, twelve percent, and eighteen percent and twelve percent. So first, I am calculating the value of B C. B plus C gives us eight percent plus ten percent is equals to eighteen percent. Okay. Now the value of D plus E. The value of D plus E is eighteen percent plus twelve percent, which is equals to Thirty percent. Okay. Now the difference between thirty percent minus eighteen percent gives us twelve percent. So value of twelve percent is nothing but ten percent plus two percent, which is equals to now ten percent is what is the value of ten percent? Six lakh plus two percent. Two percent. What is the value of two percent? I already find out the one lakh twenty thousand, and the combinedly they give they will gives us. Seven lakh twenty thousand. So, students, now in this part, I discuss the four question on the basis of this our pie chart. So, again in the future also, I will discuss the different different type of question regarding the data interpretation part. If you still find find out, if you still facing any difficulty in DI part or any other part of the UGC net of paper number one, you can directly mail to my email ID Sandeep two thousand six triple ITM. At the rate gmail dot com, I will give. I will definitely give my email ID in the uh, video description. Okay, students. Thank you.